I've been keeping a close eye on the indoor air quality in my house, and I started to notice a trend of high carbon dioxide. And it started with my Ecobee, which was really the only device I had deployed that had a carbon dioxide readout. And I kept seeing it float between moderate and even high sometimes. Well, everything else indoor air quality wise, my house seemed normal. The other sensors that I had that were measuring PM 2.5, as well as VOC seemed to be in the healthy range, but I was still getting alerts about that carbon dioxide. So that prompted me to get an air things device, which is a room indoor air quality monitor, along with temperature, humidity, PM 2.5 and TVOCs. It also reads things like radon and CO2. So I deployed it, let it calibrate, and sure enough, my CO2 readings are really, really high. Now that agreed with what the Ecobee was telling me, but the problem with the Ecobee CO2 sensor is that it's not really a CO2 sensor. It's actually just a VOC sensor where they do a little bit of math and they derive CO2. So uh, even though the Ecobee didn't read CO2, it still sort of did its job by telling me that there was a problem. So then what would be the solution? Well, let me show you what I came up with. All right, so here's my dilemma. My AirThings IEQ monitor is picking up really high CO2. Uh, well, that's probably a product of me having a really airtight house and the fact that my VOCs are really low. And so the Haven controller, which talks to the Haven monitor, is not really ventilating my house because my VOCs are pretty low but we still need ventilation because of CO2. And unfortunately, as of right now, the Haven uh, monitor does not have a CO2 sensor in it. So the AirThings does sense CO2. The problem is it doesn't have a controller like the Haven does. So through If This Then That, I've set up an automation where if CO2 levels get high, it's gonna click that relay number four, FA, which stands for fresh air, and that is wired in parallel with my contacts with the Haven to open up my outside air damper. So either one will open up this damper. Now, that was a fun little project for me as a homeowner, but that is not a solution that's easily implemented by a contractor. There's a number of reasons why. So what we really need is some better solutions for these monitors to read the readings that we need them to read and to easily control them in one environment. And I think out of all the monitors and companies that I'm deploying probes from, Haven is the closest to it, and hopefully they've got a solution on the way. Well, here we are a few hours later, and the CO2 levels have come down from well over 2,000 to around 1,800. We still have a long way to go to get down to that five to 600 range that I'm shooting for. I think that we're probably going to be ventilating for several days straight as we exchange all the air in this house, but at least we're well on our way.